Hello and welcome back. In my last video, I split Queen Helen and Will, my friend that was with me there, took one of the nukes to come and use at this trap out. This is a trap out. The bees have built a home inside the wall up here. And due to the age of the home and the nature of the siding, the homeowner doesn't want to do any kind of modification here. So he doesn't want to have anyone cut into it to expose the hive. So Will is doing what's called a trap out. And that's where you take some mesh material and make a cone out of it. And basically trap the bees out of their home. This cone makes it so the bees come out but they can't get back in and then set up another beehive next to it that has brood and other bees in it and the bees have nowhere to go but into this hive here the idea is eventually and it takes time this doesn't happen overnight but over the course of a few weeks or worst case a couple months the bees should make their way out of the wall and into the hive the best way to get bees out of a wall is just to open the wall up because these trap outs can be tricky. You never know what's going to happen. Sometimes they work and sometimes they're a, a miserable failure. I tried one last year and it was my first and attempt. I didn't know what I was doing and it was a miserable failure. This is Will's second time doing a trap out. He's much more experienced with doing the cutouts where you open the walls. He is a licensed contractor and has experience with this kind of thing and a beekeeper uh, but trap outs are a little less common less desirable to do very tricky but can be done after the bees move out of the wall there's still going to be comb left inside uh, usually that means you have to open the wall up anyway and get the comb out so that it, more pests like rats or other undesirable insects don't make their way in and uh, but since the homeowner doesn't want to open the wall, that's not, that's not going to be an option. Just have to wait for the bees to come out and fill in the gaps and seal it up so that more bees don't move in in the future. This way the hive is saved, we're not killing a hive and we're preserving the bees and we're getting them out of the way so the homeowner isn't bothered by them. Here's an update to the trap out. It's been five days and Will contacted me to let me know that the box that he tried using uh, wasn't working. So he got a different box and the bees seem to be moving into it now. Don't know if the hole was too small in the other box or maybe there were too many bees living inside it, but the bees from the wall just did not want to move in. When he replaced the hive, he found another hole that the bees were going in back into the wall and he was able to seal that up. So it looks like this is gonna work, it's just gonna take some time, but that's how a trap out is done. Um, what we're looking at here is the exterior wall of the house, original exterior wall. With the original hive entrance. I'm guessing they are kind of blocking off that exit now. Um, don't know why they would have died there.